Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So we're here with the big three. Um, it's about time to talk about this because uh, this video is going to be crucial to what I'm going to be talking in the next one. So farming for gear is one of the things that you should do on a daily basis and uh, you should be able to prioritize it and what you need, especially. Uh, let's, let's go and try to get in here. Um, let's read. So as you go up to a different level, as you can see here, um, gears are actually upgrading. So from this one, the striped purple, now you can, at 17, if I do battle, it's going to be legendary. No, not legendary, I think, but it's it's the yellow one. So anyway, it's it's one of the best rarities, and I think the ones that you should, uh, you should uh, enhance. Um, this one... You can actually enhance, but not that much. Um, I would suggest that you move to this level of gear, which is yellow, then you enhance them. Um, also, I would all uh, suggest that uh, you guys have to do battle first with the you know the, the most current one that you have before you do a sweep of the previous one that you were able to clear already, okay? And also try to check out the kinds of, um, you can already check out the gears here that what what each stage gives. So there are, this is attack, this is uh, heal. So there are different gears for every, you know, every stage or every faction or every brand. So most importantly, if you're limited on fish bones, um, please do prioritize what you need um, unless if you want to spend crystals for fish bones then you can get all three okay so you may also take a look at while you're before you're going to be doing battle take a look at the other teams that have you know have done it what are their um what are their lineups what are the heroes that they're using uh formations used possible substitutes that you might need because as you build a team you're eventually going to have substitutes a few substitutes around one or two okay so build a team per faction uh one or two subs and also if if we're going to do this part this one so you'll be noticing that there's a special zone here where there is increased damage by 10 percent and crit damage by 20 percent so try to take advantage of that. Almost every stage has that. And um, you also need to, if you are stuck with a specific stage, also consider upgrading your skills, skills of your figures and also your gear. Because that is probably the key to you clearing these stages. Because there will come a point where you'll be stuck in a certain level because you're waiting to ascend a or ascend yeah ascend or promote a certain um figure so again the best things to do is going to up, up, be upgrading gear and you're going to be upgrading skills so i have currently still i do still have battles for each so let's take a look at just one um gonna do this one most likely that i think will succeed so again I'm gonna repeat my, myself. Just do battle first before you sweep. If you you fail at the battle, then you do the sweep for the previous stage that you have cleared. So gonna go over some of the lineups first before I do my battle. Okay, so this is my lineup. I have um, Yuna, I have Aoi, I have Rei, I have Sakura, and I have Harriet. So for this team, my sub is going to be Megan. I opted to put Macon on the bench because I needed much more damage with this lineup. And I had to put in Aoi because of her shield. But again, for let's read one, um, two other, you know, two other options that you may put in would be Evita for her shield and also Minakami for her uh, for his summons. So those are the three um, subs that I think you should consider. Um, then let's go back to the other the other brand. So for this one, for Tenma, I opted to go with this five. So my sub will be uh, Sapphire, which is... If you don't have any good defenders, Sapphire is going to be good. 
as a defender. Also, Irina, I've seen teams with uh, Irina as um, one of one of the figures that they used, and also Alfred. Alfred is actually a good a good sub. Um, I can actually sub him in with um, with uh, um, I forgot her name, Vazerwin. <laughs> okay, so you can sub in uh, Alfred for for her. Then the last uh, team that um, I think we're going to be using is going to be this one for Galatea. So I have this team. My subs most likely will be Erixia. And you might consider as well um, Ume Mizuno for this one. And also Chris. I don't have Chris. The, Chris is actually, for those who don't know, Chris is... He is a he's the basketball player. So uh, if you don't have these figures, you can actually sub those. So Ume Mizuno, Chris, and Erixia for this team. So let's do just one one round of uh, battles. See if I can raise at least one level. And here we go. So far, I can't, I can't do this. Uh, ultimate is going to be simple. Okay, so hopefully I clear this so that I could ra raise the quality of the gear that I'm going to farm, going to the yellow ones. So for this one, the strategy here would be to put a bait in the middle. One tank preferably that can withstand the, the flamethrower of the boss because um, that flamethrower reaches at the back. So you have to um, leave the back part vacant have your damage dealers on the side so that they will be spared with all of that damage and, and and take note that there are minions at the back if you didn't see them they are there and they are very annoying hopefully i could clear this stage and i could you know go up to another level of gear because i'm stuck with the purple and the you know the the what do you call this the striped purple gear that i have had so i think this is going to be good so so far I'm, I'm i'm actually happy with this clear so there you go so again another successful clear this is through this is through tenma they are basically my 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 main team so let's move to let's red and see how or what the strategy for this one so i'm also aiming for 17 so i'm done with 17 I'm also aiming for 17 for this one. Let's try this team that I have. Let's just do this. Okay, so again, um, for this boss, roughly he's going to be attacking the first first uh, melee attacker in front. So I have your re for the, the single target damage because that is actually, you know, she has a big damage. You have here Sakura. You have your Aoi for the shield. You have Harriet for her minions, and once the first uh, the first uh, minion of that boss is down, the second one is also annoying. So so far so good. So far so good. We're at uh, times five left. Hopefully I could clear this one. So again, if you can't clear a specific stage, try upgrading your gear. Try upgrading your skills. Um, if you if you've reached your level cap like like I have, I've already le le reached my level cap of, I think I'm capped right now at 160. Most of my units, I only have one that has reached more than 161. So most of most of the things that I could do, I'm so limited right now. Um, gear and skills is going to be your improvement until you get past that certain level um, that you could upgrade everybody then well and good so again this is another clear so that I could move forward to the next uh, faction or the next uh, brand so victory for Let's red. So last one is Galatea. Um, I'm not really confident with Galatea. Hopefully I can clear this one so that I could sweep. So if I do sweep, it's going to be yellow already. So it's going to be a good sweep. So let's do this one, the last one for Galatea. Um, did I do it right? Yeah, I'm 17. Just checking. <laughs> I'm gonna do 
I don't want to do more mistakes today. <laughs> so let's do this. So there's also a buff here for Zhao Yun. So, so far, this is the team that I was in. Is actually is in my liking. I had to use Yuki because I needed a defender um, to be able to withstand the front uh, frontal assault. Yuki is actually quite good defender. Until we get another defender for, for, for Galatea, I think she is going to be your secondary or number one defender but again she falls down so so far we're at five um still holding this one uh but again i spoke too soon so far this is my weakest weakest team weakest team so I, i'm not sure what subs do i have i'll try to do erixia and probably sub her in uh, I'm not sure who am I going to take out, but definitely I'm going to take out somebody. Probably going to take out... Sorry for that one. Probably going to take out... Um, Usuki at the back. Oh! i done it. Zero percent. At time zero. So far, we stood it. So, even though I got withered, but again, it's still a victory. So, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it where I can take it. Okay, so that is it guys. So ho I cleared 17. So the next step for you is to do a sweep. Maximize it so you didn't obtain any yellow. Oh my god. Rate drop is probably very high. Uh, very low. Anyway, just gonna do my sweep. So you have to clear your bag here. So also tips on to clear clearing your bag is also look for the lowest rarity then do not sell them so the blues you need to get rid of them do not sell them use them as um enhancement as gear enhancement so let's, let's just go through gear enhancement so that you have an idea where to go to so for you i'm, I'm not gonna i'm not gonna do the sweeps anymore so i'm gonna just gonna teach you guys on the gear enhancements so parts just equip so i have yellow already so once you enhance this one try to look for the blue ones these are the low lowest rarity so the lowest rarity you can actually use already because you're you're going to be getting the high rarity items then then substitute it with uh, oh uh, material uh, uh limit reached already so just go with that then go with this one max upgrade it up to the maximum of course um then we're at plus six so that's the most that uh, this gear can be upgraded at plus nine as well so that is how you clean your bag as well do not sell use them for upgrading and that is it guys so that is my those are my tips for for the big three and uh thank you guys for staying this far in this video hopefully again i did this video justice and hopefully you could use the tips that i taught you in this video okay guys so for those who have stuck this far again please do consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot also don't forget to click that bell icon so you don't miss any figure fantasy videos in the future